like a new wallpaper. I also got a whole new room, but that is not the point right now because I have a video to make and you have a video to watch, so let's get on with it. Last week I went to the cinema to see Garden of the Galaxy and it was amazing. So good, it was spectacular, it was phenomenal, and I ran out of description words, adjectives, and I don't know, it was an amazing movie, that is all. Then that got me thinking, what would I rate the actual cinema? Minus 5044 times 3 times to the minus 7 of 4 and divided by 53, the square root of 44 to 9083 minus 4 times 10 to the power of 5. It was so bad! And it just got me thinking, you know, we want to enjoy the movie, but we also want to enjoy the service. People should actually up their game and be better at it. And yes, this is what I'm going to rant about in this video. Please do not be scared. So obviously you want food, you want popcorn, you want drinks. So you walk up to the movies like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get popcorn, I'm gonna get a drink, and it's gonna be so cheap, and it's gonna be amazing. Who? Can I have a can of coke and a small popcorn please? Uh, that'll be $50, a pint of your own blood, a 20th of a virgin, a while the moment rose dress, a used tissue from Jennifer Lopez, and a piece of gold. Thank you. It is so overpriced, and I know that the majority of people will agree with me. Everyone knows that cinemas are so overpriced in their products. It's not even their own products, they just like steal off the banners and they charge like Price. That's the reason why they sneak stuff in. No, no, we're not allowed to sneak stuff in. It's illegal and it's against the, the rules of the company. So that's why you see people looking stupid like this. Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you insert your jacket, please? Are you insulting my wit? Oh, I, I just know you have things hidden under there. It is against the policy. I don't think. Uh, I have to, this is against my rights. You can't force me to eat anything. Uh, please have done your jacket, please. No. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And the hat. I'd lift up your arms. At least I have a trick for that though, because I have my allergy bag, which contains my EpiPen thingy, which can save my life. If you're out with me one day and you, I take a reaction to peanuts or nuts, just like get this and just like stab it into my bag, okay? Okay. Uh, excuse me, so what is in your bag? This bag contains my EpiPen, which is injected into my leg while I'm doing an epileptic fit because I've taken peanut butter or peanuts or nuts or anything else I am allergic to. And if I don't bring this in, I could die and you could be sued. So thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. So then you get into the cinema and you're like, great, I'm in. I'm 50 pounds more closer to poverty. But I'm going to see a movie. Oh yeah. Then people start to annoy me. They start to annoy me. I don't know if they're going to annoy you, but they annoy me so much. I saw these girls and they were dressed in like full on like formal dresses. I wouldn't be surprised if they were wedding dresses in fact. And I don't know, it was strange. It was like they going to like a night out to like a wedding or something. I wouldn't be surprised if they were getting married in the cinema screen next to everyone just with a movie playing. They were getting married in the cinema screen and I could swear it. So unnecessary why they have clothes to the movie slash cinema whatever country you live in. Sorry. But yes, it is so unnecessary and so annoying and I want to cut their heads off every single one of them who do this sort of thing. So then you finally end the cinema, you're like, great! I'm 50 pounds closer to poverty and I'm going to be a murderer soon, but I'm going to see a movie! <sighs> then it comes to it, there's two types of cinemas. There's a cinema with a flat floor that goes down slightly and a little round cinema with the stars that goes boom, 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 boom. It is dark, scary, lonely, and a little bit frightening. What happens when you're walking down these stairs in the darkness and you fall and break your ankle and then continue to tumble down the stairs and your head splits in half and blood goes everywhere and the movie is ruined for everyone. I'm 50 pounds closer to the property, gonna be a murderer soon, got my head split open, but I'm gonna see a movie. Okay, so just say you haven't split your head open and you're completely fine, your health is okay, except for your mental health because of them creepy girls, and you're just sitting there, you know, and behind you, more annoying people come. And there's the couple, and they're all like smitching in the back, you know, like right next to you, and you're just like, ah! spraying holy water over your eyes, spraying anything, and your eyes just get that side away. On <coughs> water, 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 water. Oh, water. <laughs> I regret doing that and I hope that was funny because if it wasn't, that was not worth it at all. Anyway, beside you or behind you are the people sticking their tongues down each other's throats and you're like, oh holy god, I'm going to throw up in a bucket. Eh, 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 throw up, throw up, throw up. It 
home to me once and there were two people I didn't even know sitting smooching their legs all up the side of each other and the leg over the arm and the arm over the shoulder and the tongue down blah, 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 blah. and then it was like there were two screens the front screen and the back screen and the front screen the Hunger Games was playing and the back screen the Human Centipede was playing it was awful. I'm 50 pounds closer to poverty, I'm gonna be a murderer soon, I already split my head open and I'm scarred for life, but I'm gonna see a movie. So next comes the really annoying worker, the one who doesn't like any noise and thinks that if you even breathe, it's gonna be a really bad experience for everyone. She's just like sitting there like, he or she, sorry I'm not sexist. He or she is sitting there like, sitting there like, and you up in your seat and you're just like sitting there ripping comfortably like, <sighs> She's still there making it really, really, really uncomfortable. Just because you breathe, not even because you breathe, just because you blink and the friction between your eyelid and your eyeball is too much noise for anyone else in the whole cinema. I'm 50 pounds closer to poverty, gonna be a murderer soon, got my head split open, and my eyelids are causing too much noise, but I'm going to see a movie. Here comes the part about the annoying friends or family or peers that you go to the cinema with. And with your 50 brand popcorn, the one you had to get your own blood out of your own body for, you know? You're sitting there just like, your popcorn comes the hand. Hand dips right into your bucket of popcorn like the hand is Tom Daly trying to win gold at the Olympics for Britain. Then you have to be the nice person, and then you have to give them some more popcorn even though they have some of their own. Stupid, idiotic people. I think I'm doing anyone by the way. If any of my friends are watching this, I love you all. And 50 pounds because I'm already gonna be a murderer soon. Got my head split open, scarred for life. My eyelids make too much noise. I'm going to starve to death because the package is in my food, but I'm gonna see a movie. Well, I guess that brings my cinema video to a wrap. I enjoyed making this video because I enjoyed sharing you some precious moments to share with your family and friends while going to see a movie. So if you have any other movie experiences and cinemas you want to tell me, just comment and I will get back to you. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment. And that is Connor, and I am away. Goodbye.